Hello and welcome to the whole new episode of BMWX 5250cc. So, in this video we are going to install the arms. So, these are the arms I got. Double A arms with the disc brake. So, I am going to use this with disc brakes. So, these are the tires. These two are in good condition but these two are having less threads. So, this was the cheapest type of mine and the arms also and spring I am going to use this front shock as for, for the front shocks this is called the front so the set, set is completely ready so now it's time for me to assemble all together and start building I am glad I got this hubs I got this hubs with the tire I bought from the scrapyard and with this now I can go ahead and install the the rear axle completely. I was just waiting for the hubs. This is the hub which came with the axle. So these hubs are way bigger in size as you can see. So they are way bigger in sizes. The bolt sizes are way bigger than this and for this is for the bigger rims and this is for smaller rims. I'm going to use for this hub. Like this, no, I'm not going to leave it like this. 
first I was thinking to end up with this pipe over here. So after thinking, I, I need a pipe over here so that uh, when my leg moves, it does not hit this frame. Because this frame is plastic frame, so I don't want this to be break. Prop that sort. So I'm going to joint a pipe from the front to here. And even this is near next to next to me. So next to me means I'm going to add a, something like a, a soft uh, foam or something like this so that uh, I won't hit the pipes and all. And even this thing over here will support me from going right or left this pipe. And that's what I meant like this. So now the rear end is almost done so I can move on, move on to the front end and see how I'm going to adjust the shocks and all. So for that I need to move this plywood from the down and uh, even move all this, I even move the engine because that's the heaviest part. So everything is tack welded, I don't want it to break or anything. So I'll remove the engine first and move this down part so that I can go ahead and make the front end. So let's just move the engine. every time where I keep the material so the hammer I don't know where I kept it finally got it this is the first time I got a bent character still a slight issues there but still perfect better than before
all right guys so i cut it out the arms and put this piece out to make it shorter so it's going to come like this uh, not exactly like this it's going to come over here like this but i found out one more thing when i look up closely means uh, this thing was broken and welded up as you can see because the company welding is inside not outside so it's not uh, the company welding it's someone else who welded up like this so i need to complete up this and make it up proper welding over here so then the next step will be to join this thing up like this so it's going to look like this i want to make it shorter that's what so i took like uh, nearly 20 centi out of these things so let's just build up, up build up this and then we'll build up the pipe together
simplified of all the calculations I made a mistake over here so all the things I have to readjust now what what exactly is happening over here means uh, after I get the arms on the top adjusted this this wheel is going to come inside and that is going to go outside so this is what happening over here so I need to figure out a way to adjust this arm like so uh, adjust the both arms so let's just redo this the whole setup. All right, guys. Finally, finally, I got everything done. After like checking, taking the measurement from here to there, there to there, there to there, I don't know. Somehow, somehow, I got it. So now, uh, off camera, I have done the welding of this. Uh, this front arm and everything is done so working you can see this push is very hard so it's going to be hard like you can see over here this is the working I will get so this much of working I'm getting like uh, let us say that. so this is going to be the maximum down and the maximum up I will not make it this much. This is the maximum. So with the shocks, I'm going to reduce this because I don't want too much of travel over here. Because uh, if too much of travel means it will hit the frame, so I don't want that. So now it's time for me to assemble the shocks. The shocks which I'm going to use over here is very big. But let's just see. I don't have the other shocks set of shocks with me so let's move on with this and see where I'll go to, I'll get to mount this and how to reduce the travel of this I don't want too much travel like 2 3 inches and 4 inches maximum 4 inches not more than that so this shocks is providing me like 2 inches of working with this shocks so I need the extra to move the hard tire to move just three, 3 to 4 inches, that's it. I don't want more. So let's just figure out how I'm going to install this. <laughs> 